Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by Paul Zorn, who, as you all know, is the president of the MAA this year. Paul, welcome. I'm delighted to be here. Now, Paul, you've been coming to this uh, meeting for over 30 years. What are some of the highlights of this year's meeting for you? Well, in general, the highlights for me at these meetings are, are the um, features of them that, that the MAA, the Mathematical Association of America, really concentrates on. The MAA and the AMS, the two main organizations here, are complementary, have complementary interests um, in mathematics. They overlap a good deal. Um, the MAA's special area is undergraduate mathematics um, and expository mathematics. So one of the things I look, I look forward to at every one of these meetings is the series of what could be called expository talks about mathematics. These are arranged by both the Mathematical Association of America and the American Mathematical Society and, and as a matter of fact, some other societies as well. Um, and these are talks that, that are expository in the very best sense. They expose mathematics that people may know something about in a general way, but would like to know more about. They'd like to know more about how various research areas of mathematics fit into the big picture, what it feels like to do mathematics in one area or another. Um, and I like to think that the Mathematical Association of America is, is the premier provider of this sort of mathematical exposition. So what are some of the hot topics at the moment? Um, there are many hot topics out there. A lot of them are driven in some way or other by applications to biology, um, genomics, um, data. N not everything is biology, but, um, uh, but biology and other areas um, have a lot to do with data nowadays. There's huge amounts of data out there, and mathematics is one of the key tools in, in um, both collecting and analyzing data. And so new methods, new ways of looking at data, new ways of seeing patterns in data, the, that, the, those are a couple of, of key themes, by no means the only ones. A lot of people are underscoring the importance of mathematics to America's competitive position in, in the world. How robust do you think the profession is? How ready is it to take up that challenge? The, the profession is, is indeed in a very robust state as, as regards research and um, applications and, and so on. I guess my sense is that we're not in quite so robust a state as regards education in mathematics. We really have a long way to go in, in this area. Um, and one of the things that the Mathematical Association is, is really about, being focused at the undergraduate level, is um, improving, is, is being more intentional about our teaching of mathematics and, and improving it. As you say, one aspect of that is um, preparation of our students for careers in mathematics proper, one might say, and applications of mathematics. But uh, I also believe, and, and I think many of us here would agree, that, that um, it's crucial that we prepare students for kind of mathematical citizenship as well as careers and, and research in particular. Um, we, we are sometimes too shy, perhaps, about, about affirming the value of mathematics as a, as a form of mental training. It is a form of mental training, and it gives, it, it gives students, even those who don't go into mathematical careers as such, ways of, of coping with the, with the um, increasing uh, data orientation of, of our culture and society. Paul, thank you very much indeed for being with us here on JMM TV and we hope you have a great conference. I'm planning on it. Thank you very much.